Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time, we finally made it through the umbilical into the Rickenbacker after enabling the self-destruct in the reactor core of the Von Braun. So let's see what Shodan wants us to do now. Just as an aside, granted it's been a while, but I'll tell you two things. I've never been this far on impossible difficulty, and if I remember my normal playthroughs well enough, the difficulty of the game takes a huge upward spike from here toward the end. We might end up using that invisibility psi power a lot and ignoring a lot of enemies. We'll just have to see what happens. Well, we've got a corpse over here. Let's go ahead and check that out. 50 nanites and 12 standard bullets. The bullets will all be fed into the recycler. What's that through the windows? Looks gross, whatever it is. Well, damn. We got nailed by an assassin somewhere. Ah, he's up on the balcony. I vote we hypnotize him, just so we can get up there and take care of him. We must destroy the Von Braun. But before we can separate the Rickenbacker, we must remove the foul black eggs the man... The many have has vomited on this deck. These eggs are an experiment of the many, and will in time spawn the next generation of 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 Analid, which you will have no hope of destroying. Destroying. Steal yourself for a struggle, human. They fear you, for you are my avatar. Alright, the assassin dropped five nanites. Over here we've got another box of 12 standard bullets for the recycler. The psionic upgrade unit is right here, just to reacquaint myself. 134 is the target, we're sitting at 69. That email from Shodan was Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding destroy the eggs. So we have to destroy the black eggs. An audio log, Bayless, June 26th, 2114, regarding Tau Ceti. We arrived planetside via the shuttle on June 15th at 0800 hours. Kerenchkin was the first one out the door, never even bothering to do a level B hazard suit exam. Not wanting to let that little triop suit get a head start, Diego went right after him. I thought it was crazy, sending the senior officers of the Rickenbacker down to the surface of an uncharted body. But both those idiots were going to get all the glory for the UNN and try up they could. Damn. Time for inspection. More later. Anything else over here? Looks like no. And now we'll head up the ladder. There's nothing else where the assassin was standing, so we'll head up again. And suddenly... Two turrets. I was worried about that. Okay. Well, there we go. Obviously, I'm gonna have to cryo these turrets down. Once they're in range. Perfect. Time for a Psy Hypo. Search the husk. There's nothing. Let's go up another level. Same deal. Another turret. Down goes that one. Nothing. Is there a third? Yes, there is. Let's take it down to...
Alright, the turrets have been eliminated. I hear a camera. I think I also hear an assassin, but... I don't see either one, so... Let's take these 12 armor-piercing bullets and recycle them. That corpse has a crystal shard on it. Bulk hazmat containment, ladder up. There's the camera. Go ahead and destroy it. Can't get through there yet. I don't think, anyway. Maybe I can. No, I can't. So here is the first black analyt egg. Oh yeah, they can't be searched, so we'll just take it out. Good. You have destroyed the first of the eggs. But there are 15 left. Find them. Two cyber modules for that brings my total to 71. The email showed in July 12th, 2114 regarding one down. Let's head up here and see what we can find. I hear an assassin. I see a corpse with version 3 repairing software, 33 nanites, and 6 rifled slugs to recycle. There's an audio log here. Bayless, June 26th, 2114, regarding Tau Ceti Part 2. The eggs were lying in a semicircle in the middle of what looked like a crash crater. There were hundreds of those things, hundreds. And as we got closer, you could hear them. Not the eggs, the things inside them. It was like music. I was scared out of my mind. But that music... All I wanted to do was see those things up close. Find out their secrets. Alright, that's it for up here. But we can hit this switch. And that raises the ladder. As you can see, it spawned a rumbler underneath us. And I got 15 cyber modules for that, raising my total to 86. There he is. I wonder if we can pyro him down. That would be fun. More fun than anything we've been doing, anyway. Oh, but there we have... A robot. I really would like to take the rumbler out from a distance. But it would... Ah, this will work. If I can just... get another clear look at him. We got rumblers and robots all at once. Shit's getting serious, as they say. You know, it almost looks like we could finish it off with a cryo. Its health is so low now. And there's a second rumbler! Yep. That's how I remember the Rickenbacker. Yeah, that one's at full health. Let's try and nail the other one if we can. That's the one at full health. My mistake. Alright, we tagged one rumbler. Let's use the Psy Hypo. Let's work on the other one now. Maybe I should take out the robot now. 
I don't know, is it underneath me? You know what might actually be wiser? I can hit the bot with electron suppression. Well, if I'm a little bit smarter, I can. Quite work. Maybe I should hypnotize the rumbler first. He dodged the shot, but you get the idea. If I hypnotize the rumbler, of course he's not going to make it easy. I can hit the robot with suppression. Turn on adrenaline. And I can wrench these fools down. Soldier, this is Captain William Diego. There isn't much time, so you must listen. I have a unique advantage of seeing this whole situation from every imaginable perspective. Until recently, I was a... Damn. I would like to take out the rumbler, too. Well, my adrenaline is still active, but... That's gonna be hard, since they can... Their hit radius is so hard to examine. Alright, we got the rumbler. Now let's cryo down the last bit of the robot's health. Alright, let's search the robot now. Now let's also take a minute and listen to Diego's email since he got cut off. Diego, July 12th, 2114, regarding my crimes. Soldier, this is Captain William Diego. There isn't much time, so you must listen. I have the unique advantage of seeing this whole situation from every imaginable perspective. Until recently, I was a pawn of those vile and disgusting creatures, those corruptors of mind and body. I've managed to cleanse myself of their putrescence, but I've been severely compromised in the process. I'm in the sick bay on the foredeck of the Riggenbacher. I would come to you if I could, but that's an impossibility. You'll understand when we meet. Now get to it. And soldier, stay alive. Alright, let's destroy the second egg. Over here, we find 65 nanites. That will surely be handy. Oh no. <clears throat> I was worried about that. Be a little more careful. A little more nimble, maybe, getting onto the ladder. Now, as we move through here, search the trash can, find nothing. Here we've got three disruption grenades to feed into the recycler. The body has 52 nanites. Goody. Here is the weapon upgrade station, if you're interested in such things. Down here, look, a surgical unit activation key. We can't get... well, I could mantle over these pipes. And there's an assassin somewhere, right up there, on a balcony. Alright, we're gonna have to hypnotize him in order to get up there safely. So I suppose we should do that. Got him. Now, 
how do we get up there? That's the real question. Is this going to be sufficient? Yes, I think so. Ah! <gasps> it's killing me. Killing me. Alright, up the ladder. On top of whatever this stuff is. Up this. Come on, you can do it. I know you can. I believe in you, soldier. There's gotta be a way. How long is he gonna stay hypnotized? It's kind of awesome. But, it's insufficient. I probably need to use something I haven't actually used, even though I have it, and that's psychogenic agility. Let's try this. See if we can make it now. Come on. Over. Not that far. Over. Too much. Alright. It's fine. Can I really not get up there? This is gonna make me feel really stupid. can't seem to get up there, so I guess... There we go. Made it. Alright. Good old-fashioned wrench of justice. It's hard to go wrong with this old buddy. I may want to burn the two extra side to get an adrenaline buff. Yeah, I do. Quarters are just too close to reliably manipulate this guy. Got him! Alright. Now he's got a portable battery, which I'll just recycle. Now what's through here? An excellent question. There's a maintenance tool, which we can just recycle. Pop out here. And what do we find? What does this button do? Bridge control. The bridge seems like something we probably want. Anyway, let's get the Bayless audio log from June 26, 2114. Let's listen to it. Tau Ceti Bayless, June 26, 2114, regarding Tau Ceti Part 3. After a couple of hours, it was, it was like being on a bender long periods that you couldn't remember. One minute we were in that crater, the next minute we were loading up the shuttle with the eggs. I remember hearing the idiot Krenchkin calling the Von Braun and ordering them to clear off the entire hydroponics deck. Diego seemed to think this was strange and said, are you crazy, Anatoly? And Krenchkin smiled and said back to him, oh, Captain, we are not Anatoly. All right. Well, that ladder doesn't seem to go anywhere good. Although we can destroy an egg here, so... Might as well do that at least. That's the third black egg we've destroyed. Now let's check the other possible direction for this vent. 
see where it spits us out. Well, got a fourth egg here. So we can do that first. And now we're right back where we started. Except, we found a spider and an assassin. There's a security crate, which of course I can't hack. I could try to hack it psionically, but it doesn't seem worth it to me. What the F? I got the assassin and the shitty little spider after me. Great. Alright, spider's down, and unbelievably he dropped a Psy Hypo. That, my friends, is lucky. Like one of the best things that could happen is a Psy Hypo from random enemy loot. Especially on something as weak sauce as a spider. Come back here, asshole. Damn it. Seriously. Ridiculous. Quit running away. I hate these fucking things. Got him. Okay. So first things first, before we cross over here, I say we explore up here, which we haven't really done yet. I mean, we checked out that balcony already, but look here. We have 48 nanites and we have egg number 5. That's awesome. Let's hop over to the next one if we can. Let's check it out. Okay, looks like we can't really do that. Oh no, I was worried about that too. <gasps> Alright, let's explore this little room next. I'm fairly sure I can get down there without taking damage. Yes, good. Alright, we'll stay in pod 1 for now. As you can see, that's the, that's the way to pod 2. Well, actually, let's... Yeah, let's ignore pod 2 for now. Let's search these corpses. That one's empty, that one's got 40 nanites, and another Psy Hypo! Glorious! Alright, let's look out here. So here's the bridge I extended in that upper room. Let's check over here where those enemies came from. This was caused by an o overload. overload in the Mason acceleration coil. There is another coil in part two, which, which you must pass to get to the bridge of the Rickenbacker. If you, if you, if you approach it, the same will happen been there, but I have conceived a way to avoid this. Proceed to engine nacelle B. There I will provide you the benefits of my omniscience. Alright, first let's grab this med kit, search the body, find an anti-toxin hypo, and 24 anti-personnel bullets, all to be fed into the recycler. I've got an audio log in the window, Croker, July 11th, 2114, regarding nacelle B access. In order to reverse the gravitronic generators, I need to get into nacelle B. In order to get into the nacelle, I need my damn access card. But I left it on the opposite side of the hull breach. Wait a minute. If 
I can extend the auxiliary support struts, I could, if they've survived the blast. So we've already been up in that room. So let's search this little area. Inside the crate, 48 nanites and, incredibly, another Psy Hypo. Nothing else except a switch. Which is extending a couple more little pieces of bridge. This one doesn't work, but that one does. So let's head right back around there. Pod 2. Before we do that, let's head across these support struts. Gotta be careful. I wonder if I can get to this pipe and pick up the med kit. I can. That's fabulous. And then, I can get up here too and find three more disruption grenades to feed into the recycler. Alright, that's it for now. So let's actually go where we're supposed to. In here, what do we find? A viral proliferator in perfect condition. No ammo though. Corpse. Three frag grenades, two anti-radiation hypos, and a Rickenbacker access card. Let's recycle the grenades. Past him. There's nothing. There's really nothing else inside this room. So let's head back across the support struts then, because I'm assuming that we're now ready to head into pod two. So let's do exactly that. <clears throat> I hear another fucking assassin. I hate those things. Oh, and he is quite ready to greet us. I don't... I might be able to hypnotize him from here. I'd like to kill him anyway, and it would beat having to use invisibility. So let's... let's kill the assassin. I'd like for that to go a little bit better. Shit. All right, here's the sixth bag. Ten eggs remain. Remain. Move quickly. Destroying that one got us six cyber modules for a total of 92. Oh, oh yeah, the two emails were Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding Dangerous Coil, and Shodan, July 12th, 2114, regarding Ten to Go. Now the corpse has three disruption grenades for the recycler and an audio log, Bayless, June 27th, 2114, regarding Wafer on Tau Ceti. For some reason they couldn't get a hold of my mind the way they could the rest. So when I found the remains of the data wafer near the crater back on Tau Ceti, I didn't say a word. I just slipped it into my belt and thought, Dr. Polito will know what to do with this. Now here are six anti-personnel bullets, also to be fed into the recycler. Over here, we have a corpse with 34 nanites, a desk that's empty, another corpse, nothing, and another desk, nothing. Wonder what this button does. Opens the door. There's a midwife. Oh, yes. And there's our first invisible-ish spider. These are actually easier to deal with as long as you can see them because they move so much more slowly. Let's handle this midwife now. Gladly take her uh, portable battery. So pod two is this way. 
Shodan directed us to Nacelle B first, you may remember. Uh, let's see, pod 2, we have to go to Nacelle B first, but what should we do with Nacelle A, I wonder? Let's try and go there first. Well, here's the chemical storeroom. What do we have? Down here, we have 24 nanites. That's nice. We have a large beaker and a small beaker, which I'll hold on to until we find some worms. And here's the chemical manifest log. Come here, Biatch. And she's got nothing. Let's check the chemical manifest right quick. Chemical manifest, Rickenbacker. Laboratory stockroom, inventory Rickenbacker, stockroom 9A. Barium, BA2, copper, CU1, hassium, HS1, iridium, IR1, molybdenum, MO2, radium, RA3, selenium, SE2, technetium, TC2, tellurium, TE1, yttrium, Y1. This inventory list is required by UNN Safety Code number 134882 to be kept on hand in all areas of hazardous chemical storage. Storage is defined by UNN Safety Code number 195331 to consist of all areas in which hazardous chemicals, see Safety Code number 093355, are stored in quantities greater than 50 grams per 10 square feet for durations of greater than 24 hours. Alright, let's see what else is in here. like nothing so far although I hear a rumbler somewhere let's stay on this upper level there's the rumbler I hear something shooting at me Got him. Nothing. Now, what was shooting at me? That's the next thing I need to know. Looks like two ceiling mounted laser turrets. That's just wonderful. How to deal with them? Can we just cryo them down? Is that the answer? Probably. Let's try it out. There's one. Psy Hypo. Alright, those are down. Obviously can't go that way, but let's search the corpses. Nothing. Nothing. Let's destroy egg number seven. It was hiding a Psy Hypo, and here's an audio log. Kerenchkin, July 11th, 2114. Regarding Rapture. What did I think power was? What was my concept of joy? How empty life must have been. As I merged my body with the biomass, 
I begin to sense the borders of rapture. All right, now let's search this morgue-looking room. On this level, we have 50 nanites, an empty body bag, an empty body bag, 36 nanites. And when we go to the upper level, we find egg number eight. And that appears to be all. So let's head to... Now let's follow the signs toward Nacelle B. Twelve armor-piercing bullets for the recycler. Forty-five nanites. <laughs> but we need to be careful of that swarm egg around the corner. Nothing inside. So destroy it, we shall. Now we've got 45 nanites. Apparently there's a turret around that corner too. 45 nanites, an empty viral proliferator. Alright, now what about that turret? Nacelle B is that way. Let's handle the turret first. down here since there's no signage. Well, we've got an empty turret, or empty destroyed turret. There's a camera. Let's handle it. And there's another one of those ceiling turrets right around the corner. Let's see if we can handle it too. Yes, good. Alright, let's head in here. The ceiling turret has nothing. It's just a window. Over here we have a maintenance tool and 12 armor-piercing bullets, both of which can go into the recycler. Over here we've got another French Epstein device, if you're using weapons. Free mod. And here is egg number 9. With that done, we will head for nacelle B where I hear another assassin. And there's another one of those turrets right around the corner! You see what I mean about the difficulty ramping up, don't you? Although the good news is... I've scrounged, saved, and scavenged so long that I'm now comfortable actually using Psy, which is making things much easier. Alright, we bagged that turret, let's search it. Nothing. Inside this crate, we have 12 more armor-piercing bullets. Feed them right into the recycler. Let's head down this ladder, but let's be careful about it. Actually, let's not head down the ladder. Let's jump to this balcony instead. That way, we can destroy egg number 10. Now, hopefully, we can deal with this assassin without having to use Psy. It's not ideal, but I'd still like it if I could. My positioning is not good. It's not good at all. Probably need to hypnotize him in order to approach. Maybe not. Gotta be careful. Creeping. The worms. We were so.
so good right up until then. Eat shit! Alright, here's the resurrection station. Here is a trash can with another small beaker. Here is a high security crate. And we've got worm piles, so let's fill all our beakers, turn them into worm clusters, and recycle. Now, is there anything out here that I missed? No. Alright, here's a replicator. Psy Hypo for 120, bag of Please chips for 4, selection. medical kit for 208, 10 prisms for 192. Let's hack this, see if we can cheapen those Psy Hypos. Oh yes, well we need a Hypo straight away in order to perform the hack. It's gonna be tough. I apologize, please indulge me as we go about this endeavor. Five ice nodes is a lot, but it doesn't really matter if I'm not letting myself fail anyway. that time either. Come on, let me have it, please. Nothing. Let's try again. it was not to be. Sorry folks, I know how tedious this is, but... Glorious! Now we can buy Psy Hopos for 80 a pop. We don't need to save Nanites anymore either. Please make your selection. choosing value wrap. What's this? 52 nanites. I hear another Psy Hypo. That's what I hear. 88 Psy Hypos. That's sitting pretty nice. And right there is another one of those damn ceiling turrets. Let's cryo that asshole down. Alright. 
search that, find nothing. Search the room, also find nothing. Keep heading toward nacelle B. We've got two eggs in here. This is egg 11. Destroy the last five of their eggs quickly. I tire of this exercise. Got a wrench sitting over here. Shodan gave us eight. Perhaps we judged you too hastily. We feel there is room for us to coexist. After all, we are both children of flesh. Why not join with us against the machine mother? Anyway, Shodan gave us eight cyber modules, brings my total to 100. Here's egg number 12. And here is the cell B itself. So let's head inside. Do you think you can defeat us with your wire and steel? We offered you the ecstasy of our union, and you chose the vacuum of technology. of technology. Many is not happy with us, it seems. That's really unsurprising, of course. All right. All right. Well, we got ceiling turrets to deal with. We got a blast turret up there. I'm interested in finding the exact right spot where I can lean and hit it without getting shot at. That was not it. again. No, 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 no. Not that far, boyo. That's a blast turret down. Up there, up top. I'd like to go up top if I could. So that this laser turret doesn't shoot at me. Let's try and jump from here. Maybe that'll work. If I mantle, it might. Yes, good. Alright. Nothing there. This device will reverse the gravitronic generators in pod 2. This will prevent you from clumsily disturbing the overloaded Mason acceleration coil coil there. Now get back to your task, in ins insect. insect. The ship must be cleared, and my patience is dwindling. 
Okay. First, I forgot to look at this, but we have Shodan July 12th, 2114 regarding 5 left and Shodan July 12th, 2114 regarding getting into pod 2. So let's turn it off. 20 cyber modules received. That's great. What's up here? I was about to say I'll be astonished if there's nothing that wants to kill me, but it looks like there's nothing that wants to kill me. Ah, what's through here? Another turret, another egg. Let's check the other side. Nothing here either. I feel like this is probably the way forward. And I should try and clear out the bottom level first. That's going to be quite a challenge with that turret there. I wonder if turning invisible will let me get past it. It will. Right up until I fire a weapon. Dang it. Oops. Wasn't ready for a cryo. What would really be swell is if I could just get to that little niche. Oh, and you know what? I probably can from the upper level. So let's do that. Instead. Yikes, I'm having a hell of a time here, folks. Alright, let's head up here. Let's go ahead and cross to the other side. Where that other turret was hiding out. Gotta be careful. It's on the other side of that steam. Okay, I can just see it. Alright, turret is down. We've got a ladder heading down here, but before we do that, let's cross over here. Search the turret, find nothing. Um, well, it'd be swell if I could wrench the egg, but I guess I'll just have to cryo it. That was egg number 13. There are three to go. Let's go down to the second level. A blast turret. No real surprise there. I knew there was. I knew there'd be something. What I'm unclear on is how I'm going to deal with this. Oh! I can just dodge the first rocket, then I can get to the ladder fast enough. It would also help, ironically, if he didn't attach to the ladder and would instead just drop down. Now, am I vindictive enough to destroy the blast turret? Yes, because I need to make sure there's nothing inside its husk and that there's nothing behind it. So, it shall be destroyed. Time for a Psy Hypo. <laughs> nothing, and nothing behind it. But I'm still glad it's dead. Alright. Now this just brings us to the other side of that niche that I was trying to rush to. Which means that what we have to deal with is to my left 
that ceiling turret. Can I hit it from here? That is the question. Yes. Alright. Search it. Nothing. Nothing behind it either. We're done here in the cell B. So now let's run all the way back. I only have 23 nanites. There. It's insufficient for another hypo. Well, let's be wary of respawn and let's follow the signs toward pod 2. More turrets! Anyone surprised? I just hope the door stays open. I'll be in real trouble. Three turrets by my count. Two lasers and one... Two lasers and... Oh yeah. Trying to remember why I had myself up so far. Two lasers and one rocket. I can get myself just right to here. One down, two to go. There's two. Let's back the last one. That's everything. Let's search the turrets. Nothing. Nothing. And nothing. Let's look over here. So if we head down here, we have a third ice pick, which I will continue holding on to. And on the corpse, we have a version 3 hacking software and an audio log. Croker, July 8th, 2114. Regarding... Betrayed by Diego. The worms are everywhere. Captain Diego is the one who let them in. Nobody knows who to trust anymore. Nobody's even sure who's human anymore. I've blown out the access ladders in the torpedo room to restrict access to pod two. Let's hope that holds them back. As long as we're alive and drawing a paycheck from the Navy, those right. bastards are not getting the rig at Barker. through here. This looks like the sick bay. The trash can is empty. Here's an incomplete surgical unit. Which I'll... I'll hold on to my key, actually. Nah, I'll use it. I'll use it. I'll activate this. So over here, we've got another empty trash can. Here's a portable battery to be fed into the recycler. Here's an audio log on the ground. Croker, July 10th, 2114, regarding the resonator. Simpson, Malone, Shandera, and Perez are dead. At least those are the ones we know for sure. Those bastards sabotaged the Mison acceleration coil. They blew out the entire driver core, six subdecks. From what I can tell, somebody tapped the frequency resonator to refract human-sized movements. The overload of all those people moving around must have blown the resonator. We set up a magnetic shield, and the ship's still functional. Barely. I've quarantined the entrance to pod 2. The secondary coil is right there, and I don't know how thorough the son of a bitch who did this was. 
Alright, so this is leading us toward pod 2 still. Let's see what's back here first. There's a medical kit. Not a bad thing to have. And that appears to be it, so let's head through the door then. See the fourteenth egg mounted on the wall there. I'd like to kill it from the catwalk rather than waste sigh, so let's check back here. I don't see anything. That's all well and good. Let's move through here. Search the corpse. There's an anti-radiation hypo on the ground, an audio log, Croker, July 11th, 2114, regarding cutoff from Pod 2. Until I can reverse the Gravitronic generators, we're effectively cut off from Pod 2. Wozchak's email said the only way to do that is by resetting the power grid from the access station in engine cell B. Of course, he didn't volunteer to do it himself. All right. Find what a ladder. goddamn mess. Thankfully, it takes us right to that catwalk. Here's egg number 14. I hear it. A robot. It's never anything I like to hear. Can I get in there? can. Doesn't matter though, because I can't advance. Alright, well, I know there's a robot up here. There he is. Let's get electron suppression ready to go. Let's nail him. Need a psi hypo. Got him. Alright, let's turn on adrenaline. Whack him down as far as we can without killing him. Get cried already now. Let's get him. Perfect. Alright. Nothing on the body and nothing back here. So let's keep moving forward. A protocol droid and looks like a security bot. Visibility. I want suppression. Let's destroy the security bot. If we can. Hey, we got it. Good. Same as before. Let's turn on adrenaline. Just not quite fast. Same problem. That time we got him. He doesn't have to shoot. So, let's check the level we're on first. A bottle of vodka for 12, 10 prisms for 192, antitoxin hypo for 56, expert tech implant for 240. 
I don't really think we need any of that. Back here, we've got three disruption grenades to feed into the recycler. Um, if we go up the ladder, what do we find? Here on the right, we find... Well, there are a bunch of grubs that shouldn't have caught me by surprise. Grab this. Quite five by my count. Let's destroy all those little pricks, get the Psy Hypo next to her. Nothing there, that's fine. Let's loop around this catwalk. I don't see anything over here. So we will drop down a level. What do we have in here? Well, we've got protocol droid shipping crates, which I always like to destroy. both of those. I've got nothing on either side here, so all we have is this little inset. And we got protocol droid crates here. Let's deal with them first. And that one will just blow. Let's check this one next. this guy. Same thing, just gonna explode. Alright, works for me. Let's take him out, and let's destroy egg number 15. Alright, one egg to go. That brings me to 128 cyber modules. Hey. Wow, that was awesome. Alright, nailed that turret. See if we can get the other one the same way, because that would be so awesome. Indeed we can. Beautiful. Alright. Oh, we... Both blast turrets are handled, or more appropriately, they've handled themselves. This is a little puzzle, getting up to the second level of this room. It's not a difficult puzzle, but it is one nonetheless. see how it works. You just have to make yourself a staircase. You are a remarkable example of a pathetic species. I'm uploading some more cybernetic modules. That was 20 modules, which brings me to 148. Now, I do want to run back and get 5th tier neural capacity. I do have to go to the very entrance of this level to do that. It's 
unfortunate, but there's no way around it. I guess I could just hold off on upgrading until I get to the next set of stations, but that just doesn't sound like a great idea at all. We'll see how this goes. I hope it's not too terrible. I do think that there is only one of each type of unit on the entire Rickenbacker, so... Fifth tier neural capacity. Bam. I have 14 modules now. I need to come back for powers every 35 extra. There are three fifth tier powers I want. Imposed neural restructuring causes a non-robotic target to become hostile toward all non-human creatures. Use this on a rumbler. Watch it dispatch your enemies for you. Awesome. We're gonna get it. Soma Transference drains target non-robotic creature of hit points and adds those hit points to your total. Not only is this an awesome power by itself, but it's far and away the best way to defeat the second to last boss, the Many's central nervous system. And here we have Psycho-Reflective Aura, which protects you from 60% of all combat damage. Should be easy to see how you, that will be useful too. So, back again when we have 35 modules. For now... Let's just head all the way back. And the good news is it actually wasn't that long a track. I was worried, I'll admit that. But up we go. Boy, the levels sure seem bigger than they are. You only realize they're not that big when you're running back like I just did. Let's head up this next ladder. Keep it going. And now we'll head up past those torpedoes. Alright, up the ladder. I hear an assassin. I have... oh crap. I say I hear an assassin. I have no doubt we'll have to deal with it. But... And he's right on the other side here. He was cooperative. Nice. This trash can. Nothing in there. So I guess we'll just keep on moving forward. There's one of those ceiling turrets. I think I'm actually out of range. Yeah. <laughs> 
take it down. Here, another one somewhere. But windows are breaking. See, nasty. That, that same nasty we had seen before. All right. Well, there's that turret. Good, we can take it out without triggering it. Exactly what you want. Now let's just keep, keep on keeping on. Destroyed that one. That's glorious. just got spotted by a camera. Wondering where that bastard is. I had the thought I'm wondering where that bastard is before I started talking, so I spit out the thought even after I'd already found it. Sorry if that seemed really weird. Alright. Let's creep down here. Find another Psy Hypo. Gratefully accepted. And let's keep on moving. It's like right here we got some modules. Five cyber modules to be precise. That's awesome. Hybrids! How do you like that? I haven't seen those guys in a while. Wonder if we can wrench them. Not likely. At least until we get the corner happening. Yeah, we're close enough to the end now that I'm willing to take damage too. So let's just get all of their slugs and a med hypo to deal with the hit we took. Hey, six extra slugs. Glorious. Alright, let's recycle all nine of those slugs. Well, let, before we head over past the hybrids, let's check the other side of the room. Nothing there. What is this? A torpedo manual launch button. Looks like I can fire torpedoes. That is neat. I don't really know what it does for me. But it's definitely cool. Oh, that's it. It only let me fire the one. Okay. Ah, ah. Can we get up there? Sort of. Does it do us any good? I don't really know. I hear another camera. This one is clearly wrenchable. Let me just get my aim right. Oh, let's keep on moving through the maze-like Rickenbacker. Let's bust this window. Empty trash can, empty table, five more cyber modules brings my total to 24. 
can't get through this door, so that's the only way to get those modules. No. Got a rumbler there. And we've got two turrets. Probably gonna have to try and take him out from a distance, which... Well, no, I can hypnotize him. Now I can cryo down the turrets. Hopefully. Worried about that. The explosion eliminated the hypnosis, so probably gonna have to hypnotize him again after using a Psy Hypo. Come on, dude. We're all friends here. Alright. Let's cryo the other turret. Adrenaline. Adrenaline activated. All right. Nothing anywhere except the Psy Hypo lying between the two turrets. Nothing if we had... Oh, wait. Yes, there is. I see it. Let's snag that medical kit. And let's keep going. Here's the stats and tech upgrade stations. Here's an elevator. Deck A, Deck B, Deck C. We have a security crate. And here is the last egg. You've destroyed all the eggs. Now, get to the bridge. Here are some more upgrade modules. I, en I enjoy watching your transformation in in into my into my own image, insect. Perhaps there is hope for you yet. All right. Well, I'd like to get a power because I have 40 modules now, which is sufficient to get one of them. And then we'll head back here and that'll be the end of the video. What a long and wonderful trip it's been. Once it really does get a lot better once you're finally at the point where you feel comfortable letting yourself use the resources you've been hoarding. Respawn! Shit! 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 Invisibility. Not gonna bother killing these fools. There hadn't been any. And so I really got careless about respawn. Completely forgot about it truth be told. Seems to have happened. That's okay. That's right, I can afford eight side points. We're so close. We're actually really close to the end of the game now. We've got the second section of the Rickenbacker. 
and the body of the many, and then the end. You have got to be kidding! Right there in the very first room? I guess so. Let's keep rolling. Maybe this time the room will do us the favor of staying clear. I doubt it'll be that nice. Alright. We're gonna have to rock another invisibility right here. Let's get imposed neural restructuring first. That leaves me with five modules. And only two more powers left to buy. get right to the next map. Of course I say that as if that'll be easy. And actually it kind of will be. One of those damn spiders is after us. I can hear it. assassin there. I'd rather avoid all of them if we could, without burning another invisibility. We can. We are out of their reach. That's good. I don't think we should need to come back here. But imposed neural restructuring will be extremely handy inside the body of the many. It'll let us use all of the rumblers we we'll see there to fight for us. Alright. Past the respawned robot. Up and over in here. Oh, and I guess I should mention we had Shodan July 12th, 2114 regarding just one more, and Shodan July 12th, 2114 regarding well done. And now we're basically just running back to the end. Hoping we've seen all the respawn that's going to get thrown at us. Alright, here we are. We've made it. So, let's ride the elevator to the next section. The gravity is reversed here. You can already see that. But, since it is a new map, I am going to call it a video. Rickenbacker Pod 2. This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We destroyed the 16 black analid eggs and we made it to Pod 2. We're trying to get to the bridge and trying to link up with Captain Diego on our way. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.